this year, since we have decided to help make edible food for your breakfast, here we have to go and make edible food for the breakfast and collect them for the breakfast. Thereby, one, helping the environment, and two, helping to make the environment. Now let's try to understand the business model a bit. The first step is production. The edible spoon is manufactured using raw materials such as jawar, rice and wheat flour and also sugar. It has a shelf life of 3 months. The production is done by our target beneficiaries with necessary equipment such as microwave oven, hand press machine and molds. High level of hygiene is maintained during the entire process. The second step is packaging and selling. After making the spoons, they are packaged using packaging material such as bubble wraps, pouches and boxes so that they don't break while handling. The product will then be sold to buyers with negotiated contracts. The third and perhaps the most important part is finding a target market to sell the product. Our target market includes ice cream vendors, retail food outlets, and small cafes and restaurants. Total cost of making one such spoon is one rupee twenty paisa, and we are planning to sell it for two rupees, thereby getting a profit of eighty paisa per spoon. And we will sell the spoons in the batches of fifty and hundred. Our target beneficiaries are underprivileged women. We aim to empower them by helping them earn a sustainable source of income, so that they can support themselves and their families. In order to hand over the project to target beneficiaries, that is underprivileged women, we have conducted training sessions with two groups of women at Vide Parle and Borivili in Mumbai, wherein we have taught them about how the spoons are produced, the proportion of the ingredients and elaborated on the baking process. Through the Edible Spoons project, various of the UNESCO's Sustainable Development Goals are being touched. The first one is Economic Equity. The underprivileged beneficiaries of this venture are poised to become independent entrepreneurs through this entire process, thereby helping them elevate out of poverty. The second one is Gender Equality. In India, there is gross gender inequality with the weight of the balance skewed towards the male gender. We are helping to equalize this very balance by discharging independent and entrepreneurial action to women. The third one is sustainable production and consumption. This product is an alternative solution for plastic and paper cutlery, thereby an inhibitor of plastic waste generation and soil and water pollution. The fourth one is saving terrestrial and aquatic life. Lower plastic production mitigates the risk of its consumption by aquatic animals and also abates water pollution. Wooden spoons and alternative to basic spoons which are made of plastic also imperil the flora and fauna on land. Therefore, our product contributes to saving lives on land as well.